Hey everyone, welcome to Cloud Jam. Today we have Abhishek Viramulla on the channel, and they are going to talk about open source. For those who don't know Abhishek, which might be possible, I want Abhishek to please introduce. Thank you, thank you so much, Nasi. So we have done part one on my channel. So I have a channel called Abhishek Viramulla, and the part one was uploaded to it. It is on uh, freelancing. What is freelancing? How you can get it done in the DevOps space. So yeah, if you don't know me, you can check out my channel Abhishek Virmala, where I do lots of stuff on DevOps, GitOps, Cloud Native, everything. Yeah, I recommend you checking out the video on Abhishek channel, which is uh, I think very insightful for people trying to get into DevOps and freelancing. So yeah, make sure to check it out. This video is mostly on open source. I'm going to ask questions on open source, how to get started, and all the different things. So make sure you watch this video till the end. Yeah. So my first question to you is. I am a student who is studying in university, second year, third year, mm -hmm. and I want to get started with open source. I have no knowledge how do I get started. Okay, so let's make things very simple. My suggestion would be, don't take the gun and fire it multiple directions. Just pick up the direction that is, identify the project that you want to contribute. So if you know Python or if you know Go language, it's not that you just go to GitHub, find multiple Python projects just find some simple issues, try to fix it, or look at the documentation, try to fix it. But that's not a way, if you want to look at yourself as a long-term open source contributor, PD. Better thing is identify a project. GitHub makes it very simple. Just go to GitHub Advanced Search. Search for the project. Let's say your expertise is monitoring. Mm -hmm. Just say monitoring starts greater than 1000, mm -hmm. and programming language, Go mm. You will get 50, 60 top projects in the monitoring space. Mm. You can pick up either one, two, or three and understand the code base. So, if you want to contribute to Prometheus, let's say as per the search result, you got Prometheus and you want to contribute to it. First, understand what is what is Prometheus. In beyond Prometheus, mm. understand the use cases. Then you can go look at the good first time issues in the Prometheus repository and start contributing. So basically saying if you want to contribute first understand the project then see what problems are with this project then actually implement solutions and contribute to them. Exactly. Right? Because the most common mistake is people don't identify the project. Mm. People just look at multiple projects they look at like I know Python so let me try to do something in Python mm. but it's other way wrong. Mm. What is the problem that you try to solve? If you are trying to solve the problems with monitoring do it then identify the monitoring project and start working on it. Well, let's say I'm very new. I'm a non-tech person. Okay. I don't know programming. I don't know code. I don't know DevOps anything. Right? Okay. But I want to contribute to open source. What do I do the first thing? Okay. So this is a very good question. First thing is try to analyze yourself. Why do you even want to contribute to open source? Right. right. And I like everything, even with freelancing or open source. First, you have to build a skill. So you need to build the skill in a particular domain. It can be DevOps, it can be scripting, automation, automation testing, whatever it is. Once you have the skill, don't you then go with open source. Mm. It shouldn't be other way around that you are in your first year of uh, engineering and you look at a open source project. You don't even know, uh, you don't even have a strong domain expertise and you start working on it. Mm. It's not like that, mm. right? Because you have to be a long-term open source part of it. So you have to first build the skill. Mm -hmm. What do you think about people contributing to documents of uh, various various projects? Do you think contributing to a document is valid, is as strong, or can help you with a job or not? Okay. So this is a, again a very important question. I think we all know about the uh, uh, recent issues with Indian community or contributing to GitHub or contributing to open source. Where may they be up now? So pushing all the comments related to documentation. Let's make things very clear in this podcast. Like I have six years of experience contributing to open source. Mm -hmm. I've contributed to top repositories and I've been active in work. One thing, trust me, just that you contribute to open source, nobody is going to give you a job. Mm -hmm. You might have thousands of contributions in the last year. Your GitHub analytics might look green everywhere, red everywhere, but it doesn't matter. You might go to Google, you might go to Man, you might go to Red Hat. 
what they will look at is the quality of your contributions mm. if you are contributing to a project make sure that you are getting involved with that project mm. you are understanding the challenges of the project even if you know one or two contributions per year you mm. make sure those contributions are strong enough that people understand that you value open society so quality over quantity rather than contributing to just documents actually contribute to the code so it's good right yeah yeah Okay, so you mentioned about the companies not hiring you just for the open source part, but uh, are there still chances of people contributing and getting hired as well? See, uh, it depends. Like, let me be very very clear on how the open source hiring works, because I was working with F5 before, mm-hmm. and I got opportunity with Red Hat because of my open source contribution. Some kids, so it helps. But it helps, but understand how it helps. Mm-hmm. So when you work in open source. You work with a lot of communities, right? So when I was working with FI, mm-hmm. I was contributing to FI Kubernetes Ingress Controller mm-hmm. and also Nginx Ingress Controller. Mm-hmm. And these have very strong communities. Mm-hmm. Communities means contributors from various companies. Right. And if you are active on that projects, mm-hmm. you will get contacts or you know people from other companies start recognizing it. Mm-hmm. And when they have opportunities, they will directly reach out to you. So it. like connections you get connections working in the communities and the open source part here the connections are directly with respect to your code quality all right this is what people talk about right mm-hmm. when people say github is the new linkedin mm-hmm. when people say that you can get recruited with a strong github profile this is what people are talking about right mm-hmm. so it's actions not just talk exactly you get to see like people get to see your skills directly and you don't have to uh, convince them to the job sometimes you might not even have to sit in an interview mm-hmm. because they are only looking at your work if you join the contributor meetings mm-hmm. they are also looking at you mm-hmm. they are looking at your commitment to the project so they might have a very casual talk mm-hmm. and they might just say that you have an opening in my organization if you are interested i can get you and yes. this happens mm-hmm. like lot of yeah even i have heard stories like people yeah. getting hired through their contributions without an interview because they have shown their quality i i tell you some of the popular things that happen within Let's take example of X Y Z project, mm-hmm. which is open source, mm-hmm. and there are companies like A, B, and C, mm-hmm. which are consuming this open source, mm-hmm. right? Now there is a active want to build up in this open source repo, and if A has an opening, mm-hmm. he will directly approach this mm-hmm. person and ask them, like, if you are okay, I can hire you in my company, mm-hmm. and I am going to pay you mm-hmm. quite more than what you are expecting, and. Mm-hmm. Um, you can get into the company so my next question is how much can you expect as your salary if you are a good open source contributor okay so i'll tell you very honestly in this one because you are contributing to open source mm-hmm. do not think that you are doing things for free mm-hmm. if you are doing it through a company like there are companies like like hack there are companies like we are where uh, you have a lot of other companies so like google microsoft which are strong in the open source mm-hmm. ecosystem In a nutshell, you will get paid. There are average software engineer. Mm-hmm. So if you are getting hired in a good type of organization, what is you are getting hired in the same type of organization, mm-hmm. but through the open source background, mm-hmm. you get paid more. Right, right, right. And I've heard people talking about making money through open source contributions. There are this is very common, and people are confused about it as well. Yeah. So for my subscribers, I want you to clarify. Do you make money by committing or uh, contributing to open source? Okay. So, open source contributions are broadly classified into two types. One is you are contributing to open source by your own in your free time or as a freelancer. So this is non-paid. This is not paid. Of course, I there is a clause. Now I come to that. But on the other side, you are contributing to open source mm-hmm. through open source companies like Red Hat. Mm-hmm. or you are working in google and contributing to open source mm-hmm. you get paid have any paid mm-hmm. and in the first part there is one clause that there are open source projects which are backed by cncf mm-hmm. where there are some uh, challenges if you take example of argo so in argo uh, there is a reporting program where if you identify a security issue in argo mm-hmm. even if you don't fix it but if it's a valid issue you get paid mm-hmm. so Going back, free contributions, your part-time contributions, or contributions as a freelancer, you can assume ninety-nine percent of times you don't get paid. You are doing it for the company. 
But what about different uh, organizations? There is TSOC, I've also about Mozilla, paying people for contributions as well. What can you tell about these organizations? Yeah, I mean, like, like I was telling, there are some projects which are backed by CNCR. Mm-hmm. Similarly, there are like uh, projects like GZOB or you app things like mm-hmm. uh, Mozilla. Mm-hmm. Like these programs are backed by companies. Mm-hmm. Like, in such cases, you get paid. Mm-hmm. But if you randomly go to an open source repository, Mm-hmm. Today, if I create that open source repository mm-hmm. and you are contributing to it, mm-hmm. I'll be happy with it, mm-hmm. but I don't pay. Right. So it's more of a reward for like, if the project is by, by an organization, then if it paid, it's not, you don't get paid. Exactly. Uh, but although you get the skins. Yeah, like, this example is Linux. Mm-hmm. Where there are a mm-hmm. lot of people contributing to Linux. There are a lot of people contributing to Kubernetes. Right. But if I contribute to Kubernetes mm-hmm. from Red Hat, the, the Red Hat is paying. Right. Other side, if there is XYZ person contributing to Linux, mm-hmm. it is the goodwill of the person. He is co- he is consuming Linux, mm-hmm. so he is contributing to Linux. Yeah. Now that you said this, I remember a client approaching me uh, for contributing to open source as well. And if you want to learn more about freelancing, there are the video that is posted on Abhishek's channel. Yeah. So before we end this video, for someone who is watching this and wants to contribute, uh, what could you tell them? Okay, so. Open source contributions is a marathon, it's not a sprint. If you are looking for a sprint, this is not an IPS, please don't come here. Mm-hmm. I mean, when I say please don't come here, I'm not owning it, but I'm just saying, if you are looking for a short term temporary open source contribution, you might have very fancy GitHub analytics, but nobody is going to care about it. Whereas if you are taking part in the marathon, then yes, mm-hmm. people will love it you will get opportunities, you will see things happening and you will not. Mm-hmm. Many people have changed their lives through yes. yes contributions. So yeah, this was so good. I think I've asked almost all the questions about open source. But if you have any questions, feel free to put it down in the comment section. And I hope probably she will answer it for you as well. This is actually, I'll try to get all the comments in this particular video and I'll try my best to answer the questions. So this is all about open source. Thank you and have a good day. See you. Bye. Bye.